Hello YouTube, my name is Witsy, and today random dude 787 said a bunch of mods always make a fun run, so I decided to use three at once to make a cool look and see passing grab blitz. So uh, we have hydrophobi hydrophobicity, water balloon, rainbow fury, rubber cement, tech zero, Jacob's ladder. We're gonna have another electricity run, but water balloon's actually kind of cool. It's kind of like a water ipecac. You'll see it's like so. Just looking at water balloon before all the other items. If you haven't seen it before, then hydrophobicity only those two items are basic synergy. If you want to add brimstone, sometimes this, this run looks amazing, but I think the thing would make it a little bit too easy. Good luck. Okay, gotcha. Thank you, my friend. All right, so take a look at water balloon first. So here's water balloon. You kind of have like this weird. You have like ipecac that turns into a, like monstro's lung or cricket's body. And then if we take that, it kind of bounces. Boop, boop. <laughs> it's really cool, right? And then we'll take Rainbow Fury. Boop, boop. <laughs> All right. And then we'll take Grab a Cement. Boink, boink, boink. Or if I just shoot it at the wall, it just bounces back and forth. Then we'll take Tech Zero, and it goes like this. <laughs> and then we'll take uh, Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> it's really cool. So, this is... No, we're not taking Tech Zero. That would ruin this whole thing. So, this is, like, a really... into. Oh, God. Okay, so that was a room wipe. So, it makes it a really, really weird, but also cool thing. Because with Rainbow Fury, we have... We have the whole, um... What's it called? Like, it's it's just a rainbow of effects. So, you know, like, we got homing shot every now and then. Oh, God. Okay. 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 <laughs> then we, you know, then we have poison. We have this. We have that. It's, it's really cool. It's different. I like it. It's wonky. This is unique. Uh, out of everything that we've done recently, this is actually unique. So, I am... I am... Uh, pleased with. I am very pleased with this, my friend. Okay, we just keep, yes, we keep tears bouncing in there. We have HP up. Good. Give me trinket. I will take child's heart. Why not? Uh, I don't really want a full clear, I'll be honest with you. There's probably only one more room anyways. Budget. So, yeah, we're going to be on vacation for the next week. As in, I will be, not as in all of us. Because taking 34,000 people anywhere is going to be really fucking difficult. But no, um... But yeah, we're going to... I'm going to be on vacation, me and Liz. Uh, we're going to the Midwest. She is moving back over there. And I am going to look for a place. Yes, I know, why don't I move in with her? Well, you know... Yeah. Uh, don't want to just yet. I want to be able, able to have a place settled down and all that good stuff. Have my own place. Okay. You get? You you used to be under, understanding me, correct? Okay. But yeah. Uh, we're we're going to be checking out some stuff. Eh, probably within the... Assuming all goes good over there. We haven't exactly decided yet. It's going to be one of the Midwest states. It may end up being Texas. I don't know. I don't know. I'll I'll let you guys know what's going on whenever we whenever we do. Um, but one, this puts me closer to well, not necessarily closer, but it puts me in range of a lot more things because being in the middle of the country, I can obviously have access to both coasts relatively easy. Problem is, it's a seven. Bleh, it's a seventeen-hour drive from Florida. So that's not kosher. I don't want you as a shadow. Fuck you as a shadow. Oh yeah, it's a 17 hour drive from Florida. So we're going to be doing that tomorrow morning at 7 or 5 a.m. Which is why I am trying to record as many fucking videos as I can today. So that I can get all those done. I can at least give you guys some amount of content throughout the week. It may not be all seven days, but whatever. And then afterwards, I'm really hoping to find some type of place out there. Oh cool, I have a key. We're trying to find some place out there, and hopefully it'll be a hell of a lot cheaper than here, so I will be able to start saving up and doing a much more cooler things. Being an adult, they always said was fun. They lied to you. They fucking lied to you. Being an adult is not fun most of the time. 
Unless, of course, you get lucky, get into, like, a high-paying job or something like that. Well, no, not really lucky because, you know, most people go, for, go to school for things like that, so I guess not. But that's the goal, man. Men slash women slash whatever you decide, to, whatever you uh, want to be. But that's the goal, and then we shall... Uh, I'll be able to rest much easier... If, if the way it goes like I'm expecting and hoping for it to go, uh, life is going to be quite a bit easier. And I'll be able to start doing everything more. I'll be able to start streaming more, be able to do two to three videos a day, like I used to do. Um, be able to just, just get everything out. And expanding. I am expanding into a bunch of shit. As soon as I get out there and I actually have my, like, setup settle down and all that stuff, I'm... We're, we're trying new stuff. Like, every day it's going to be something new. I don't know what, but it's going to be something new. Because, uh, I'll start doing more, like, indie games. Maybe some Flash games, I don't know. Do, do the stuff all the cool big YouTubers do. But not exactly, you know, like, all the meme shit. But you know, you know what I mean. Either way, what I'm saying is I'll be able to experiment more and have more fun. So, yeah, there we go. <sighs> I'm kind of nervous, though. Kind of nervous riding 17 hours out there. It's going to be fun. So, well, 17 hours out there and 17 hours back because she has to transport all her stuff from Florida out there. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to, like, fly or anything. So, is what it is, man. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Being an adult is one of those things. Okay, well, we at least got a bit of a damage up. Our speed is a bit lower, but oh well. Ah, uh, that could be fun. <laughs> I like, I like how uh, how all of my stats change as I do that. You know, it's weird, but it's also kind of funny. Cool, red hearts, if I need them. I say, that would give me 99 monies, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, you ready for some crazy balloon effects? Oh, boy. Oh, you shit, Lord. You backed into me like a cunt. <sighs> okay, we're good. Going down the next floor. I need some speed, though, man. That small rock killed me. Yes, I'm drinking a monster. What of it? I don't normally drink monsters, you're right. But I feel trying to record an entire week's worth of videos in a day, I probably need some fucking monster, okay? At some point, I'm gonna figure, I'm gonna run out of shit to talk about. I'm gonna run out of shit to talk about by the end of this video. I've already ran out of shit to talk about. Why do you think I'm talking about running out of shit to talk about? Think about it, it's crazy, right? Okay, and no, why'd you take my heart in San Francisco? Thank you. I didn't, so why didn't I pop uh, two of diamonds? Well, I didn't pop it because, you know, I twisted it. Pull it. Sacrifice your children to Satan. No, um, because one, I didn't really want a uh, champion's belt. So, that's, that's really the big one. And whenever I do find whatever item it is I feel like taking, I want to be able to, you know, double my money then. So, you know what I'm talking about, man. Okay, well, they're already dead. That's already dead. That's already dead. Ooh, full health, nice. This is, like I said, like, this is a cool one. It's really fucking weird, but it's cool. And that absolutely destroys whatever the hell it touches. Lock up, thank you. Now my luck is at four. Okay, so the only thing it isn't affecting is luck, which I guess makes sense. We need to still find our item room. Should I do the item room or shop? I only have one key. I guess we'll decide when we get to the shop. Um, if I keep with only one key at the time, then yes. Hmm. 
because there's a high chance of I actually fucking hate hangnails. Hangnails. There's a high chance of getting, you know, a key or something else from the shop. Whereas in the item room, I mean, it's good, yes, but it's not that good. There we go. And everything died around me. All around me are dying faces. Dying faces. Dying faces. I guess just the big problem with this run is the fact that the balloons can't get everywhere. You know? Uh, oh god. Uh, the problem with me is I, uh, I think too much. I work too much. I love too little. I don't know. I was trying to think of like some rap lyric or something. No, the problem is that I just don't have speed. <laughs> Hmm, I guess I decided for myself, huh? Oh, well then, I'm gonna go like this. Boop. Of course I, of course it did. Of uh, fucking course it was greed. What else would it be? I may as well go pop that chest and get the other key at this point. Plus I have a full charge of my items. Uh, I do not want Uroburos worm, if you know what they're talking about. Fun fact, can you tell me a game where Uroburos was that Uroburos was in and featured prominently? Ah no, I'm sorry, you're incorrect. The answer I was personally looking for was Resident Evil 5. One of, if not my favorite, Resident Evils. Now, I know, diehard Resident Evil fans are going to be like, Oh, well, why do you like that? Blah, blah, blah. Might as well just like 6. Why is Resident Evil 5 was bad? Resident Evil 5 was an incredible co-op game. Like, straight up. Oh, I wasn't even expecting that to be charging. It was a great game for co-op. 100% like, straight up. Oh, fuck, whatever. 100% amazing game for co-op. Resident Evil 6, yeah, uh, Resident Evil 7, which we never actually finished on the channel because it's, like I said, once again, one of those things where we, uh, our schedules don't always line up, but, um, I don't know, it was okay, I guess, it wasn't really, it wasn't really anything crazy, I, from what I played, it was okay. But still, like, at the end of the day, I don't know. It didn't, it felt more, you know, like, horror gamey than Resident Evil to me. Which, you know, at the time that Res the Resident Evil series first came out, those were very big horror games and whatnot. But the problem is it felt more like, it felt closer to, like, Amnesia to me. It, it didn't, definitely didn't feel like an Amnesia game, but, like, that's the best comparison I can give you. Because it felt closer to Amnesia than it did to Resident Evil, which was fine, man, you know? At the end of the day, it's, it's whatever. They wanted to branch out, and a lot of people loved the game, you know? A lot of people also hated the game. A lot of people said that the ending was really subpar, which uh, I didn't see, so I, I couldn't say for certain one way or another. But what I can say is that, I don't know, like, it, it was scary to Liz, but it wasn't really scary to me. You know, it just, meh. The, you know the biggest thing that scared me? Fucking lack of ammo. But... Realistically, you know, ammo was never really a problem in Resident Evil if you knew what was, if you knew what to do, you know? Also, at the time, I think that was, like, the first real game she played in something like eight or, you know, however many years, so. It was, it was kind of unfair to her, too, because she wasn't exactly, you know, a gamer at the time. Let me just hit you with one fucking balloon. There we go. But it is what it is. It was still fun. I mean, while we, it was fun while we did it. The mold men were kind of cool. Uh, at some point, I'll probably finish it. 
Not right now, though. <laughs> At some point, maybe. Hey, cool. I canceled out a uh, kidney stone. Kind of like brim snapping, except it's not nearly as useful. Let's go fly a kite up to its highest height. Let's go fly a kite and send it soaring. Up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Oh, I saw Wonder Woman last night. That was a really good movie, actually. I highly suggest going to see it. Currently, I think it was it was the highest grossing DC Universe movie. So, that's good. It was... it was definitely something. Is this a new room? That had to have been a new room because I don't remember ever seeing that. Eh, whatever, we'll hang on to Sorky. Actually, no we won't because we have, what, one more... one more floor or something? Is it? Oh, no, this is the final... this is the final floor. Okay. No. Storky is useless. Yes, yes, there's still a store, blah blah blah, but... Still. The good thing, I guess, with Water Balloon was exactly as you saw in the fire room, as long as there's a bunch of shit to bounce around, these... you know, this is going to be beautiful. It's kind of funny, we hit 99 cents without me even, like, using... what's it call it? Okay. Why don't I find the item room? Like, is, is, is that too much to ask? I feel like it's too much to ask. But I would personally love it if I could find the item room. Just saying. Drop that over there. Whatever. I don't know. I was kind of hoping for the blood bag. I mean, realistically, we do have uh, a very, very, very good amount of red hearts on this floor. I mean, I could... And or if we had the habit in like 9 volt, we'd be golden, but... I mean, I could probably play that to the blood bag, but I don't know, man. I, re I really don't want to. This is already kind of a slow run, as it is, so normally I would if I wasn't trying to get a week's worth of shit done, but oh well. It is what it is, man. You're supposed to prepare for this shit, right? Well, you know what? I didn't. I didn't fucking prepare. What you gonna do about it? You ain't gonna do shit about it either. Little bitch ass trick. Come back, you turbo cunt. Okay, we're good. See, I'm trying to teach the kids all types of new words. I'm doing this for the kids, man. Doing YouTube for thy children. Ah. Alright. Can we find one item room? Oh, well, we found the shop. That is exactly the opposite of what I just asked for, but okay. Um. Boop. 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 Well, actually, here. What in the fuck is that? I don't know. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. That's probably one of the, like, modded items. Okay. Now oh, that shit's over with. Maybe I shouldn't have taken Kidney Stone. I don't know. Like, this is a cool run. Yes. But kidney stones kind of killing it. Then again, it also can destroy absolutely destroy rooms. So you gotta take the good with the bad, right? A lot of times, people are very you know short sighted. They don't see, they only see the bad. They never see the good. You know, like if I told you I was a convict that you know has, I was a convict that just got out. Lots of people are going to just see, oh well, he's dangerous because he's a convict, but. What if I told you that I was a convict and during my time in, uh, you know, in jail or prison or whatever it is, I got multiple degrees, you know, I got everything squared away that I ever needed to, and I'm com I've come down to cha came out a change man that actually has, you know, marketable skills, I can go get a job in the world, and, 
you know, be a productive member of society. Lots of people would be like, yeah, but you went to fucking jail, you're a piece of shit. Like, no no one wants you around, you went to jail, you, you literally have forfeited everything. Your life is over. And that's the problem, man. A lot of people see that. They see the they see the bad side, but they don't see the good side. And that's that's too bad. That really is. That really is too bad. Cause just because they were a convict, man. Sometimes people are wronged. Some people. So a lot of times people are. You know. A lot of times it's just and people being put away behind bars. Of course, I'm not saying that there are a bunch of. You know, I'm not saying that everyone in jail is innocent. But what I am saying is that there are a lot of people that have a have much more of a story than you know you'll you'll know or let on and your preconceived notions your preconceived bullshit might mean that a uh, dude's actually good who knows who the fuck knows man i like to i like to think i believe in the good of people uh actually the reason that i brought that up was i just came from the laundromat and there, all right. So there was a dude. It was weird, right? It was, it was weird. No, okay. Um, it was weird because he was. Ooh, nice damage up. Cool. Because the dude was sitting here. It was, it was a loud fucking dude. Um, and he was just, he was essentially just ranting to himself for the most part. But at some point. Um, you know, he was talking to one of the other dudes there, and he was like, you know, uh, he said something. He was like, I, I just got, uh, I just got a bunch of tackle, man. Like, let's, let's go fishing. And the other guy was like, nah, bro, like, I, I got stuff to do. You know, I can't just, I can't just get up and go. He's like, I ain't you, bro. I ain't you, bro, man. I'm Richie Rich. And I was like, one, who the fuck's Richie Rich? But more importantly... Why is, why is this dude just like, I don't know, why is this dude just fucking talking to people, being loud and being like a, a general nuisance? And, uh, you know, that went on for a while and it eventually, th uh, what I gleaned from his conversation with himself very loudly in public was that, you know, he just got out of jail and the world's changed and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And the whole time, the only thing I was thinking was like, I'm Richie Rich. I'm, I'm Richie Rich. I don't have, you know, I'm not your bro. I'm Richie Rich. I even put a little thing on Twitter. Hashtag I ain't your bro. I'm Richie Rich. You know, start that trending. If you see anything ridiculous or if you see someone calling someone something stupid or something like that, you just be like, I ain't your bro. I'm Richie Rich. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. He, he kind of brought up a point because he was saying, yeah, I know, crazy, right? But he kind of brought up a point in his ravings to himself that he was kind of like, you know, I got out of jail technology and everything just left my ass behind i don't know anything that's going on nowadays and you know now people you know people treat me like shit just because i'm a convict man i was doing some flooring for some guy in and he was in a million dollar fucking house and he was like i have never seen a million dollar house i never expected to be in a million dollar house but this dude gave me a chance you know i'm like you know that that actually makes sense that that's really nice because realistically okay you're, you're a convict, right? Well, if someone gives you a chance, you have two options. You can try and make, you can try and better yourself. You can take that chance, you can run with it, and you can really try and prove yourself. Or you cannot. You can take that chance, blow it, and I mean, if you end up back in jail, okay then. But what, what did you show to prove for it? You've, you've shown absolutely nothing. So, it was kind of like a, my buddy says because he was he went to jail for for a little while. It was for bullshit reasons, but it's still regardless. It still happened. Now it's on his record. Blah 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 blah. And he's saying, you know, I after he came out, he he changed his fucking life around. He was, you know, he was just that guy smoking a bunch, working at a shitty job, not doing anything. He got out. He immediately immediately started going to vocational college. Got a degree for got a degree in AC and then you know he got he got into a company with AC and whatnot the problem is even with saying like you know hey I have the degree where most other people that they hire actually don't they're just coming on straight OJT like on the job training and absolutely nothing else 
like he actually has a degree saying hey i know how this works i know this and that you know i can i can fix this shit for you i can do the work you need i can do the work you want i know what you're talking about when we're doing things etc cetera, etc cetera. and they you know the only thing people see is well nope you're a convict sorry you have a record that's not happening which is understandable because they do sometimes go into like government installations schools things like that and in you know i'm certain in certain circumstances i'm sure nice in certain circumstances i'm sure you know you won't be able to go into a school you oh that's a fucking choice um no it's not let's try this Okay, well, that's a way to lag the fuck out of the game. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Should I keep that? I don't know. Like, yeah, it's cool, but should I really keep this? Because the whole point was kind of like water balloons bouncing. I don't know. Forgive me. Uh, forgive me, run creator. But I, th I think we should keep this just because it looks cool as shit. Yeah, I think it looks pretty nifty. But no, the the my buddy made a good point. Like, you know, just because, yes, I have the record. Yes, I went away for, you know, insert, you know, insert crime here. It doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the crime was, you know. Whether it be violent, whether it be nonviolent, whether it be, you know, whatever it is. Was he righted? Was he right? Was he wronged? Doesn't matter. Regardless, now it's on, you know, it's on his record. And he said... Uh, he he said that even a lot of people in jail said that, you know, I tried to go out, you know, I was released and I tried to do it. I really tried to do it, but society only sees the bad in me. And when you see the bad in you for so long, you just come out of jail, you see more of just bad, you know, it's disheartening. And a lot of people, you know, they just turn, they turn to crime or what have you, and then they go right back in and then... Essentially, their life is just going to be in jail. And it's really sad, because there are lots of people... Fuck, I think I ran to those spikes, yeah. It's sad, because there's a lot of people in the world that when they get out, like, they see genuinely, okay, I did wrong, I fucked up, I don't want to go to jail again. I want to, you know, make my life right and do the right thing. My stats are going fucking wild, aren't they? But it's just that so many people only see bad shit. They only see bad, they don't see good at all. Which is understandable, because obviously, you know, if, if you went to jail, usually there's a reason. Especially if it's like violent stuff. Like, yes, okay, I wouldn't want to be hanging around with a bunch of murderers, that's true. But, you know, you also don't know their situation. Well, they may have been murderers, per se. Or, you know, murderers, dealers, uh, thieves, wh what have you. Re regardless, they they weren't good at some point. That doesn't mean... Fucking motherfucker. That doesn't mean that they're always going to be like that no matter what. You know what I'm saying? If I had lost contact, I'd be able to kill Hush like no one's fucking business. You want to try Hush? Let's go try Hush. But, I don't know, you just treat people right. That's the whole thing. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, just treat people right. People deserve to be treated right. At the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. If you define someone only by their past, how can they ever be anything more? Right? Yeah, we'll do Varicos Veins. It'll at least give us some ridiculousness. If all you do is tell some... No! Yes! Light shot overrides Epic Fetus? Nothing overrides Epic Fetus. Really? Um, 
Okay. Well, correction, nothing is supposed to override Epic Fetus. Huh, that is weird. Yeah, Epic Fetus is supposed to be the be-all, end-all. I was hoping to drop it down and then just have an unholy amount of shit come after it. Wait, where is Epic Fetus? Hold on. I'm, I'm just testing something. Uh, 168. Oh! So, this just gets rid of Epic Fetus. Oh, okay. You wanna try something cool? Here, let's let's try something real quick. If we remove light shot, we'll go back to the balloons, right? Now, what if I give myself epic fetus? Or did I take Dr. Fetus? No, that was Epic Fetus. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. It's weird. Um, I'm going to stick with this because this makes life just a little bit easier in the whole... You know... In the whole actually uh, keeping the game from ultra-lagging department. This just makes it slightly lag, so I'm fine with that. Yep, gotta watch out for the homing shots. Or not, yeah, his homing shots. I don't know what my HP is at, which scares the shit out of me. So I'm just going to really hope that uh, we're going to be good. I was really hoping Epic Fetus would have worked with this. I think it actually doesn't work with either the balloon? It has to be. It's either the balloon or it's the uh, Hydrophobicity. Which, I guess Hydrophobicity wouldn't work. No, that wouldn't make sense, though, because... I don't know, it's just like a Nipicac tier. Like when you... Fuck. When you use Epic Fetus with... Uh, Ipecac, it just drops and then shoots a bunch of Ipecac tiers at once, so... I don't know what's up with that. I'm at... I gotta be, like, close to death. I just got hit three times in a row. Oh god. Okay. 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 Thank you. I'm going back down here real quick because... Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Red heart. Red heart. That's weird, isn't it? Red heart. Okay, so I think we're good now. Oh, that's right, I took the wafer, so it's not its not as bad now. Yeah, I'll take I can see forever, whatever. Boop. And no, we're not fighting Delirium. You saw how long that fucking took. I'm not fighting Delirium with that. Curse of Ziblind. Oh, good! Okay. Oh, so the bombs don't do shit? Or, like, what's what's going on there? This is super wonky. I really, I really wish Epic Vita's work with that, though. That would have been fucking cool. Just having an airstrike that dropped out and, like, dropped a horrific amount of everything. Okay. Cool. Come on. Okay. Uh, I think Kidney Stone may have broke too. Nope. God, that's a lot of shit. <laughs> that's a lot of shit. But either way, we're good. That's, that's probably the biggest letdown of this whole run. I actually wanted to have Epic Fetus for something, finally. And it doesn't even goddamn work. God dang it. 
That was the worst part about this whole endeavor, kinda. Mr. Mega? Eh, okay. At least the bombs will blow up bigger. God damn it. Uh, the bombs also don't seem to be hurting me. So that's cool. Ow. Varicose veins is pretty good, though. Like, as an item, not in real life. You should really never strive to have those. Those are actually, from what I'm told, very unhealthy. Okay, top secret room. We're getting close. I'm not going to do another room with Maggie for a while. Like, holy shit, this speed, dude. I need more speed. I need another speed up. I need another speed up. Another speed up. Yeah, but Light Shot is making the run much quicker, too, because it's not lagging the hell out of the game. Plus, we're keeping we're keeping true to the, like, the run theme, which is the bouncing balloons, so... I thought the wafer saves you all from all full heart things of damage. Even if it's from a champion. What is this bullshit? Has the wafer been nerfed? Wafer too strong, please nerf. Actually, no, why? Why in God's name would anyone nerf the wafer? Okay, cool. <laughs> Realistically, I just want this run to be over, dude. We are so fucking slow. I, I am so done with this. Like, straight up, I am so... Just stop. Oh, my God. It's a cool... Like, it's a cool idea, and it's a cool run. Thank you for it. You're fucking awesome. Please, God, why did I choose Maggie? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I only have three keys? What is that Jabberwocky? Gah. Brr. Curse of Zimogza. Like Shaku. Boboku. Bozo, sorry. Anger. Angler Flare. Angry Flare. Light Shot is proving very valuable. No idea how I just randomly got a nickel up there. Ooh, Mom's Contact. Nice. Hey, we got the Yes Mother transformation. Oh boy. That's like just one of those. Yeah, it's like just one of those shots needs to hit him when we're golden. I have a feeling it's to the bottom left, but I'm going to take the top right first just in case. I was really hoping it'd be one of those chests that was, you know, like one room away. That almost never happens, but I mean, it will happen. At some point, it'll happen for us. It has to happen. It really should have happened this, this run, but oh well. Now, if only we had Spoonbender, like, the whole time. That would have been beautiful. Uh, where the hell is that secret room? Oh, down here. Ooh, it's a top secret, which means we're probably getting close. Which is good, because this monster just went through me. No, you didn't want to know that, but I'm I'm here to share every last bit of my life with you. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a vlogger, well, I'm really just a YouTuber, I'm not so much a vlogger. I'm a Let's Player, I should say. Not really, I haven't finished a Let's Play in years. So... I guess not technically. I do want to finish Dark Souls. I have, like, most of the videos done and in my... What's it called? I just don't have the time to edit them. But either way, like I said, when we when I move out to the Midwest... Oh god, everything's gonna be nice, I hope. Everything will be much better. It'll be great! And then who knows, we'll be able to uh, do that whole streaming thing full time. That'd be kind of fun, right? Streaming's kind of fun. Although, it's going to be on Twitch, not on YouTube, because fuck YouTube streaming system. Is there some type of partner program for YouTube? For the YouTube streaming, I know there's I know there's partners. I mean, you... Uh, most shit, most channels nowadays are partnered, regardless of if they're actually making content or not. I remember when I was partnered, and it was a big deal. Back in the day, 
I got partnered that month, I made seven cents. And I was goddamn proud of that seven cents, I tell you what. But, uh, no, seriously, I wonder if there's a partner program. Kind of like, kind of like how Twitch's partnership is, you know. Five bucks, subscribe, five bucks a month, you get the emotes, and then, like, uh, street, maybe, uh, subscriber-only streams. Oh, that's what it's called, sorry, so subscribers. But, yeah, I don't know. It'd be kind of cool, I guess. I know... I know most other streaming services do it. But then I know YouTube's also been really wonky with the whole ad things lately, and you have to be in PC, like, oh, you can't have offensive things in the titles or in the content or this and that. Which is understandable, but either way, we're done. Thank God. Thank God, we're done. Thanks for watching. Like, leave a like button, subscribe, more, subscribe, please, more. Check down the description, all the social links. Uh, Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Patreon, blah, blah, blah. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.